What is an insolvency practitioner in the UK? If you are asking this question, your business may be struggling financially. Keep watching and I'm going to explain the following. What exactly is an insolvency practitioner? What qualifications do they have? What are their responsibilities? And it's not what you think. What are they looking for in a liquidation? And how do you find a good one? Ha, huh, Chris Word and Director First, thanks for watching. Right, an insolvency practitioner is a licensed and qualified professional who specializes in helping individuals and companies facing financial distress or insolvency. Remember here at Director First, we purely work with limited company directors. The primary role is to provide expert advice and guidance to insolvent entities, and if you decide to appoint them, they represent the creditor's interest in a liquidation. And I'm gonna to come to that because that's important. Let's focus on that right now. In a liquidation, an insolvency practitioner is duty bound to represent creditors. They're not there to represent you, the director. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some fabulous insolvency practitioners in the UK, and I've worked with lots of them. But once you appoint them, their duty is to recover funds for the creditors. They are there to represent their interests. And that's where we're important at Director First. Our job is to help you understand your position in full with no um, jargon, no complicated acronyms. We show you what your issues are and how potentially you can get uh, through those issues and mitigate those issues. We can't sweep anything under the carpet, but we're there to guide you through insolvency. Now, it's strange really. If I need an accountant, I get an accountant to represent my best interest without breaking the rules. Same as a solicitor, I want a solicitor to represent me. In insolvency, for the first time in your business life, you're gonna, it's your role, if you do it voluntarily, to go and find an insolvency practitioner to represent the other side. It's strange, isn't it? It, it just, when you think about it, it's like, well, I've got to go and appoint somebody to represent the other side. And that's why it's important that you get the right insolvency practitioner. And that's where we can help you. They all follow the same rules. It's the 1986 Insolvency Act, but there are different types of insolvency practitioners, I can assure you. And you want to find one who is understanding, helpful, and will do exactly what they say uh, on the tin. Next thing I'm going to talk to you is about what they're, how they're licensed and regulated because they are, they've got all this regulatory and compliance that hangs over their head. They're regulated by professional bodies such as the Insolvency Practitioners Association, the IPA, no, not the drink, or the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales, for sure, the ICAEW, okay? So these people, the professional people, they've got a lot of regulatory compliance around them and they've got rigorous training and examinations to obtain the license. There aren't that many insolvency practitioners in the UK today considering how many businesses they are and the, 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 the tests that they go for, the exams to get their, their, their insolvency practitioner's license, they're very hard to pass. So very, very bright people, these. Now, here's an important thing. What is the responsibility of an insolvency practitioner? And remember, it might not be what you think here. So they've got a wide range of responsibilities. But first of all, they have to assess the financial situation of a, an individual or a business. So they can give you a lot of good advice pre-appointment. Then they might want to develop and implement strategies to maximize returns to creditors. Remember, that's what they're there for. They're not there for the director. They're there to maximize returns for creditors, the people that you owe money to. They're there to manage the process of the insolvency, whether it's an individual voluntary arrangement, whether it's an administration, a company voluntary arrangement, or a liquidation. That's what they're there. They manage that whole process. They communicate with shareholders, 
creditors, stakeholders, employees, of, if it, the business has employees, and they ensure that there is compliance with all the legal and regulatory requirements throughout the insolvency practice, um, uh, process. But here's what they also do. They are looking for issues with your conduct as a director. They're trained to spot things. So if you're going to an insolvency practitioner, please, please, please talk to them about everything. If you have any worries or concerns, get it out up front because they're designed and trained to find things. And they're gonna be looking at, first of all, overdrawn loan accounts. Has the director taken too much money out of the company? Has taking that money out of the company resulted in the company failure? They will do bank transactions analysis. They will look at last set of accounts. They will work out the point that you were insolvent. And they're gonna, if you've got an overdraw loan account, I've done lots of videos on this, please watch them. Overdraw loan accounts, Chris's YouTube, uh, Director First YouTube, it'll help you. They're gonna ask you to pay it back. And if you can't pay it back, they may look at doing some type of deal with you where you can pay it over a period of time, but it will not be swept under the carpet. They're gonna be looking at preference payments. When the business become insolvent, when you, when you can't afford to pay people, you must treat all creditors equally. So you can't be paying off personally guaranteed loans and not paying your suppliers of the HMRC or the bank because you're doing that in preference to get yourself out of the mire. You can't pay back money that you've borrowed off your family and not pay back the bank. This is the stuff that you're gonna cause you a problem in insolvency. They're also gonna be looking at bounce back loans and C bills, you know, did you, did you claim the right amount of bounce back loan? If you didn't, it's treated as bounce back loan fraud. If you overagged your turnover to get a bounce back loan and the insolvency yeah. practitioner sees that, they're gonna report it to the insolvency service. You could be disqualified, you could be made personally liable for that bounce back loan. They're gonna look how you spent the bounce back loan. They're gonna have a look if you were entitled to take it in the first place, because if you wasn't, that's a disqualification. Not only is it a disqualification, people have gone to prison over that. It's highly likely you could be made personally liable for that bounce back loan. They're gonna look at if there's any assets in this business. Now, before you appoint an insolvency practitioner, you are entitled to sell business assets. You can sell them to connected parties, you can sell them to businesses that you're involved in, but you've got to make sure that they're sold for a fair market value. And who determines a fair market value? It's an agent. It's not you and it's not me. If you want an introduction to an agent that um, is used to this world, please get in touch with us and we can make some introductions. Now, insolvency practitioners are there to oversee a number of insolvency procedures. Um, let's talk a few, a few of them now. A liquidation. A liquidation is the process of winding up a company after it's been become insolvent. Remember, they liquidate the business, they investigate the director's conduct, they do reports to creditors. If they get any money from the liquidation, they'll distribute it out to creditors. And administration is a different procedure altogether. It's a rescue procedure and it's aimed at protecting the company from the creditors while a restructuring option is thought out. And in an administration, the directors of the business that put it into an administration could buy it back out of administration. It's called a pre-pack and an insolvency practitioner oversees all that. They also oversee company voluntary arrangements. And a CVA for sure is an agreement between a company and its unsecured settle, uh, creditors to settle its debts over a fixed period of time, generally five years. They might oversee something called an individual voluntary arrangement, an IVA for short. We don't get involved with them here at Director First, but that's a formal agreement between an individual and the creditors to repay the debts over a period of time, like a CVA for personals. So how do you find a good one? Listen, if you're watching this video, we can help you. Get in touch with us. We are free independent advice and we put you the director first, but you don't have to get in touch with us. There's some great insolvency practitioners out there, but please, 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 this is a big decision.
don't jump into bed with the first one that you speak to make sure you have lots of conversations get comfortable making sure that they understand your situation understand that they're make sure that they're answering your questions when you ask them and they're not deflecting them or being dip you know being a diplomat about them you need some hard fast um answers because if it goes wrong there's some serious consequences to this i would suggest that you check reviews check reviews on trustpilot on google and don't look at i look at trustpilot recently and there's like look insolvency companies that reviews are yeah mr such and such was very helpful good call thanks for the advice and these these reviews are like two two sentences long and i'm not saying the fake reviews that's not what i'm saying but what I think those reviews are is somebody who's rang up, not gone through an insolvency process, and they've just gone, will you give us a review for the advice? And there's nothing wrong with that, but they've not really used the service. Look at the reviews where it's detailed about, yeah, they, I'll tell you about my reviews. Chris got me through this. He was there every step of the way. Whenever I rang him, I answered the phone up. Please, 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 if you're looking for an insolvency practitioner, get in touch with us and we can help you. My name's Chris Wood and Director First. God bless.